you know for any of us that are following bible prophecy all we have to do is look out at the world and see all of the things that are happening it really starting to see everything line up just as jesus spoke about and as scripture points out we are coming to a crescendo you know many skeptics will say you know many people have been saying that jesus has been coming for 2000 years and you know the greatest revelation i got was the whole thing of that 2000 year gap and why it's there and it really blew my mind but it also really makes guidance to prophecy and how exact god's prophecy truly is every dot and t is totally and truly fulfilled and um, this is more just of a little bit of an intro to what's coming this week because many people do ask that question in terms of the 2000 years what's it tied into israel all of it comes in to play this is short this one but it will give you a bit of a breakdown to what i mean remember to watch it in full and smash the like button to get this out to as many as possible because it could open someone's eyes to the truth that we are truly living in the last days and to all those who are normally on this channel see on the other side with a good announcement have a look at this 1948 is the 100% fulfillment of ezekiel 4 Ezekiel 4 prophesied Israel to be punished for 430 years. After 70 years of captivity in Babylon, God brought his people back onto the promised land, and disciplined them again sevenfold, according to Leviticus 26. 430 years minus 70 years in Babylon, equals to 360 years. 360 years times seven folds, equals to 2520 Hebrew years. That is 907,200 days. Which is 2486 solar years, with 365 days per year. 2486 solar years of punishment minus 538 BC when the Babylonian exile ended is the great 1948 CE. Jesus predicted an unbelieving Israel prior to his return. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man come. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. All Israel shall bear fruit to receive the Messiah and the surviving remnant of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. In days to come Jacob shall take root, Israel shall blossom and put forth shoots, and fill the whole world with fruit. Israel shall blossom and put forth shoots, and fill the whole world with fruit. If you've watched it this far, brilliant, I know it's a short video. But I just wanted to give you a kind of synopsis of what is coming this week. The next one I'll do on this has to be at least 20-25 minutes long because there's so much in it. And I will prove to you without a shadow of a doubt God's prophecies to the day to be exact. Um, also many people have asked about ways you know, to, to kind of support prophecy and follow it. Not something I would have done before but I've dropped it down in, in the description on, on ways to do that. Which will go towards equipment and other things. Um, that's going to come up over the next few months anyways things are pushing ahead in terms of prophecy we are truly seeing it unfold what i wanted to do today was to give you a little bit of an intro a little bit of a sneak peek to what's coming and um, has to be a lot bigger i tried to do one on nine ten minutes still too short it's going to take at least 20 25 minutes scripture proves exactly that we are truly that generation that once in a lifetime generation that Jesus spoke about. Regardless, remember guys, regardless of everything that's going on in the world, all the chaos, God's always in control. And until next time, keep the faith.